Yeah, I'm here uh, from the Ministry of Environment to share with you uh, yeah, our thoughts on uh, the current uh, development and what is important for um, mitigation investments uh, in the Czech Republic. So, uh, of course, uh, yeah, we should reflect on uh, positive and as well uh, negative development in the last time. Uh, uh, on Friday, I just uh, arrived from Bonn, uh, where uh, the climate negotiations are taking place. So, it's um, there is an important agenda to 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 have a robust Paris Agreement rules, which should be agreed by all parties um, next year, 2018. So, still a lot to do. Uh, I've, I, I should mention uh, positive signs. So. Uh, swift uh, ratification and entry into force of the Paris Agreement, I should mention as, as a something very positive, ongoing debates on EU legislation uh, for the next decade uh, by 2030, uh, but as well some, some, some risks uh, we can see around the world, uh, for instance, uh, new uh, Trump's legislation and uh, still a chance that the, uh, the US uh, uh, are, are going to, 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 to be placed out of the Paris uh, Agreement and international uh, uh, policy. Uh, of course, uh, Brexit is as well risk because uh, for this moment it's unclear, for instance, uh, whether UK will, will stay with, with us uh, in the EU ETS or, or not, or what's going to be the impacts of first or second uh, uh, scenario. But uh, maybe uh, just the, the, the latest positive signals uh, from, from France and, and from German regional elections. So I think uh, positive, uh, uh, positive uh, results for uh, EU uh, development and uh, hopefully EU uh, climate policies. Uh, of course, in the Czech Republic, uh, the both elections are still ahead. So it's, it's uh, quite uh, hard to comment uh, now on chances, uh, but hopefully that environment uh, for uh, for the work uh, will be stable as well in the next uh, time and uh, next years uh, up to uh, 2020. Uh, we are in good good uh, situation in terms of uh, let's say where we are with GAG uh, emission trends and uh, future development because uh, due to uh, new policies and. Uh, uh, reconstruction of, of, of this of the state since 1990, we are almost 37 uh, percent below 1990, which is good uh, development, uh, and we are on a good uh, way to transform uh, this economy to more low carbon. As well, the Czech Republic should uh, have no problem with renewable energy target uh, with uh, the fulfilling until 2020. Uh, there are some problems in terms of energy efficiency. Uh, Directive and uh, uh, but uh, more uh, uh, more uh, pressure on implementation should help us to achieve what we have uh, promised. Uh, in terms of policy making, uh, I would like to mention that the Czech government adopted in March a new uh, climate policy of the Czech Republic. So it should serve as a low carbon development strategy of the Czech Republic. So or long term vision by 2050. So, and this policy also implements uh, state energy policy uh, from 2015. So we have uh, all uh, both important parts of uh, policies uh, in place. So hopefully a good sign for, 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 for clarity what the government is, is planning to do. Um, just to more describe what we, what we want uh, or what we have in uh, the clim new climate policy, of course, we have targets by 2020, 2030, uh, in line with the EU uh, targets, uh, which the Czech Republic uh, has. And of course, we are looking at indicative trajectories by 2050. So first time we are looking uh, how to achieve at least 80% emission reduction by 2050, what this should be, let's say, our uh, aspirational goal uh, by mid uh, of this century, what now it's logic that all parties of the Paris Agreement uh, should do and should plan uh, in this uh, horizon, at least. So uh, we are planning to uh, assess how uh, this climate policy is uh, implemented, uh, and this evaluation should be delivered uh, 2021, and then updated to uh, 2023. So it means that this document, which uh, should 
reflect on new development uh, within the EU and, and, and globally as well. Uh, I would like to mention as well uh, some main uh, challenges and risks uh, which uh, I see in terms of how the Czech Republic uh, might be transformed uh, to a more low uh, carbon uh, uh, development future. Uh, of course, that uh, there are major uh, political and economic uh, economic uh, instability risk because, of course, that uh, uh, this is something what is uh, negative uh, towards investors if, if they don't know what is what is the politic political situation or economic situation uh, uh, next uh, period. And for instance, uh, still uh, we can see a very low carbon price, uh, very uh, unstable uh, electricity uh, market. So it's something what uh, makes uh, decisions uh, very uh, difficult in this time. Uh, just to speak on uh, en energy sector in terms of electricity, it's something what is uh, very <coughs> ambitious uh, in terms of what we should achieve because I mentioned policies, but uh, of course that there is an uh, important uh, phase of implementation of policies and uh, uh, we need to somehow, f somehow ensure that policies are fulfilled. So in terms of electricity, it's uh, the question uh, or risk that uh, there is going to be a lack of investments uh, due to, for instance, uh, uh, difficulty how to ensure that uh, current uh, national nuclear action plan is going to be fulfilled, uh, how it's going to be financed, whether it's going to be postponed or left behind. So it's something what, what can uh, endanger uh, future low carbon in the Czech Republic. and. Uh, uh, in terms of electricity as well, renewable energy investments, because uh, there is a need for uh, more long-term planning. So we, we know the situation, what's going to be until 2020, but uh, more long-term future, more long-term incentives and schemes are, are unclear uh, for this moment. Uh, the second uh, logical part of energy is heat. So there is as well uh, a list, long list of uh, obstacles and threats. Uh, for instance, in terms of a central heating system, which is very reliant on, on coal, and uh, no let's say, clear guidance how to uh, uh, switch to uh, more clear uh, uh, technologies or fuels than coal-based. So, uh, and this, of course, the second uh, part of heat uh, supply is based on households, so still there is a missing incentive uh, as well for households maybe to uh, make uh, more uh, uh, clean uh, heating uh, system uh, for households. It's unclear whether natural gas is something uh, what should be uh, in the middle uh, step. Uh, the next question is based uh, on, on, uh, on biomass and sustainability or air protection risks. So there is no silver bullet in, uh, in heating sector as well and government should work more with businesses and uh, local communities to think on heating uh, sector uh, future. Uh, of course, the next problematic uh, issue is non-ETS, uh, especially transport. Uh, uh, in the Czech Republic, uh, we are thinking whether, for instance, a carbon tax might help, but uh, because a t carbon tax would be uh, focused on household sector, there is a sensitivity of politicians to agree with carbon tax or similar instrument which would incentivize lower emission uh, from households and households uh, heating. Uh, the very specific is transport, because transport sector is just only one sector uh, within EU, the EU uh, which uh, grows or which is, which is in uh, stagnation. So uh, we need to introduce more limits uh, in this sector as well. Uh, of course, I would like to finish with, with more, more positive list. So the more positive list, list uh, uh, brings in attention op opportunities and advantages. So of course that, uh, that uh, we are in a good, good, a good uh, situation in terms of uh, macroeconomic performance and uh, midterm uh, mid overlook. Uh, for instance, the Czech Republic is, is, the, is, is the, with the lowest uh, level of unemployment in Europe. 
So <clears throat> there is a possibility uh, for, uh, for growth. Uh, I, I, sh I would like to mention especially that still there is going to be a lot of funds available uh, after 2020 because uh, still in ETS review, uh, we expect that uh, modernization in an innovation fund will deliver a significant amount of money which the Czech Republic should use uh, for, moder for future modernization of energy sector. Of course, our ETS revenues will be available uh, for the government as well to provide incentives uh, uh, for different, uh, different low carbon in uh, incentives and investments. Still, there is a lot of low hanging fruit, so it means in energy efficiency and or phase out of coal, we can uh, invest more and get relatively cheap uh, energy and emission uh, savings. Uh, what is, there is a, another chance because we have established uh, supporting schemes uh, for energy efficiency and low emission heating. So uh, there is a, of course chance for uh, streamlining and in terms of number of schemes, but uh, such schemes can continue after 2020 as well. And uh, maybe lastly, there is a chance for a bottom-up approach and action. So uh, this is, uh, I think, today as well, a very good chance to have uh, investors, private sector, and local uh, uh, communities representatives here to discuss on more stable investors' environment. So I believe that more banks and private investors and cities will join us in this uh, our effort. Thank you very much.